What's poppin' dudes? Welcome back <clears throat> to another video. All right, so before we get going with this, I want to I wanna talk to y'all about something. So fairly soon, my wife and I are going to be moving. And because of that, we're actually downsizing our apartment to save a little bit of money while we um, save up for a house. So we'll be in like this new apartment for about a year. We're not doing that till later. But pretty soon, we're going to have to start downsizing some of our stuff. So I may not be uploading as frequently in the near future, but that'll pick back up, right? It's just going to be like a temporary little thing while we're getting all of our all of our shit situated, basically. So just wanted to say that up front. If you see, because I was putting out like tons of videos like every week, you know. So if you guys see that I'm not posting as much, it's not because I'm not enjoying it. It's because I'm busy in real life doing this other stuff, but it will pick back up. Okay, number two, I saw this. This is a very, very prevalent issue in ESO. I wanted to discuss it because rather than seeing all these posts all the freaking time and just saying this is a problem, I wanted to discuss possible solutions and also break down why this is happening and explain to everybody, especially new players, why this kind of thing is happening. So the title of this Reddit post says, if you fake heal or fake tank, you have no right to complain about how anyone else is performing. You got a lot of upvotes. So I want to explain what fake healing and fake tanking is. Zenimax, when they created the Elder Scrolls Online, they created it with the notion that you could play however you want, whenever you want, wherever you want. And because of that, they never locked in, like if you play other MMOs, they never locked in a class to a specific role, right? It, like if you go to World of Warcraft and you play a paladin, you can play a tank, a healer, or a DPS, but it sees where your talents or basically your abilities are slotted and what abilities you have, and it restricts you to that role. If you're if you have all of the the DPS abilities on your bar and the DPS talents equipped, you can't queue as a tank or a healer. It doesn't allow you to, right? So there's no such thing as that issue. When you come to ESO, there is no check system. You can queue up however you want, whenever you want. And so it allows you as a DPS to queue as a healer or queue as a tank when you are not a healer or a tank, meaning you don't have a taunt, you don't have all this survivability, or you're not a healer. You don't have group heals, group buffs, enemy debuffs, all that stuff, right? So this can be a problem, obviously, but why, why is it happening, right? So first off, why is it a problem? Because at the end of the day, these people are doing this to skip the queue. And now I've done this before myself, 100%. I've fake healed a number of times because I feel like, especially in normal dungeons, I feel like tanks are more important than healers, not the other way around. I think when you have a fake tank, the run becomes very disorganized very quickly. But if you slot something like Echoing Vigor on your fake healer, you can you can at least heal the rest of the group, right? I, I would never do that in a veteran dungeon, but in normal dungeons for the random normal daily, yeah, I've done that several times. Now I wanna discuss why. So for newer players, the problem is, is when you are like, hey, here's a new dungeon that I wanna try out. I haven't done the quest in here, right? I wanna experience the story and the lore in this dungeon. This game's been out for 10 years and odds are you're gonna be playing with a lot of people that have done this dungeon a million times. And so what people are trying to do most of the time is they're trying to finish this dungeon as fast as possible because the rewards at the end are a big boost of XP, but also 10 transmute crystals. Transmute crystals are very, very important for a number of reasons, but we'll get to that later, okay? The problem is now if you don't speak up in group as a new player and say, hey, I'm new, or hey, I would like to do the quest, everybody's probably just gonna sprint ahead and do all the stuff because they're just trying to be as efficient as possible. You can do this random normal daily on every character. So people that have 10 plus characters, they're trying to gun through this as fast as possible. Maybe it's like one of their things that they log on and do on all their characters each day because you get 100 transmute crystals a day doing that, right, for, for 10 characters. So that's why they do it. The problem here, outside of souring the experience for the new player, is simply that there's not a lot of efficient ways other than this to get transmute crystals. The nor or the random veteran dungeon reward is the exact same 
as the random normal dungeon reward. XP and transmute crystals are identical. There's absolutely no reason for a veteran player to do a random veteran dungeon outside of just personal um, desire to do so. But like from a reward incentive, there is no reason. The, the other ways that you can get transmute crystals, a lot of people aren't fans of typically. Like I, I personally don't enjoy doing Tales of Tribute. That's another way you can get it. You can do a bunch of PvP as well. I'm a PvE player, so that doesn't really work. You can do the pledges and do, you know, veteran hard mode on the pledges and get 15 um, more transmute crystals each day from that. Um, so you can do that. But from a PvE perspective, there's not a lot of different, like, quick ways to get transmute crystals. And if they were to introduce more ways to get that, I guarantee you, you wouldn't run into this problem as much. Now, that's not always going to be true because a lot of people are just doing it for the XP. Maybe they don't care about the crystals and that's a nice little side bonus, but they want the XP. What I've always said is that Zenimax needs to double, at least double, the rewards for doing a random veteran dungeon. I would prefer to be running random veteran dungeons, but it is simply and logically a waste of time an effort to do that. I love veteran dungeons, but there's no reason to run and potentially get a veteran layer of Marsalock or a normal Spindle Clutch 1 and get the same rewards. It just doesn't make sense. And it's been like this for 10 years, right? So I think that's one thing. Number two, a lot of the normal dungeons are so easy that they don't require a healer by any means. There's no heal check in any normal dungeon, not one, okay? And so that enables people to say, hey, I've run this with four DPS before. We barely need a tank. We definitely don't need a healer. So then you queue up as a fake healer, right? Now, then there comes the other side of it, and that is being respectful of the group. Because a lot of people in the group maybe don't know that that's a thing. Maybe they're new players. This is why so many veteran players come forth and say, hey, if you are questing, Please say in the beginning, hey, I'm questing so that the rest of the group will slow down. Most people in ESO want to be nice, want to be helpful, and I always slow down for a brand new player because that, that shits on their experience for the dungeons. And that's one of the best pieces of content in, in ESO, in my opinion. So there's absolutely no reason for you not to do that. Now, what this guy is getting into is basically saying that people, he's, they are experiencing people queuing as a healer or a tank, being fake, and then complaining about the rest of the group's DPS. That's just a shitty person, ultimately. I, I have not experienced this very often. I primarily tank or um, DPS. I don't heal that often. I enjoy healing a lot, but I feel like unless I'm doing difficult content, healing's not very fun to me. Um, you know, if we're doing like, a veteran hard mode DLC dungeon, I think healing's fun, but I don't want to queue as a healer for a random normal. I just don't find it very exciting, personally. So this guy said, it's so wild how many people queue as tanks or healers that aren't tanks or healers. So, and that's, that's the reason why it's a symptom of an underlying problem in the game. If Zenimax were to introduce more ways quick ways to get transmute crystals in the game. Like, I thought that they were gonna put them in Infinite Archive and attach them to the daily, outside of the Malagraph Geiger, right? I thought that was gonna be a random reward in there. Um, I'm, I'm surprised that they're not dropping in like the one to three range, like one to three crystals from doing your, your daily quests in the zone dailies. Um, there's lots of places that I think they should be dropping that they're not. Transmute crystals are very, very, um, important and they're very sought after for a number of people especially me so you need them in order to reconstruct gear and create builds and stuff right if you're not doing crafting builds and you're doing dungeon builds and trial builds and all that stuff you need a lot of transmute crystals especially if you have several characters so i have one character per class so if i want to change a a build on a character more than likely it's going to be around 275 to 250 or i'm sorry to 300 transmute crystals and you get 10 from doing one daily normal so that's 30 daily normals if you do nothing else right so it you know it's it's one of those things 
people and I've I've talked about this too. The reward structure is not really the best in Elder Scrolls Online, and it hasn't changed in ten years. And it's one of those things that I would really like to see some changes because I feel like this is a very easy problem to fix. Um, and I don't know if they're not looking at this issue and seeing what the underlying problems are, or if they're saying, well, you know, it's a community, it's a person problem. You know, I wonder if they're just not looking at this and understanding why people are doing this. Um, but it doesn't seem like they're real. They have they haven't really ever tried to fix this problem, so I don't think it's going to ever go away. Just frankly, now with the group finder, there is a way where you can queue up for a specific type of group. You can get a specific group of people together and experience the dungeon. Now, the other thing is, a very common easy way to do dungeons, especially on normal, is if you find one other person and you both have a companion, that's very doable. You can solo most dungeons on normal. So just keep that in mind. I know for a new player, that's not gonna happen, but as you get more comfortable, just keep that in the back of your mind. That's definitely doable. And the other thing is, um, basically, like if you are going to go through and be like this, um, just, I mean, just be a better person. <laughs> like, don't, don't queue up. Like, I, like, I know it's annoying to people when I queue as a fake heal, especially if there's no heal on my bar. That's why I slot Echoing Vigor. Don't complain about other people's DPS if you're going to be faking. You just look like a shit person altogether, honestly. There's no reason to do that. It's a normal dungeon. There's no reason for you to complain about other people's DPS. Like, that's just silly. You're already skipping the queue. Just be thankful that they're not kicking you from the group. <laughs> and just be nice, ultimately. Um, the other thing is, too... I don't even remember what I was going to say because I saw this. But let's just go ahead and read some of the comments. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this, this, um, this article down below in the description like normal. But I do want you to um, leave some comments below. Tell me what you think. Obviously, I feel like everybody's kind of against fake tanking and fake healing. Are you okay with it in certain instances? How would you fix the problem? Because this is this is something that arises in the community a lot, is people screaming, there's a problem on the forums, or there's a problem on Reddit. And they don't offer any solutions. And I think offering solutions is part of the, you know, the discussion that's gonna get these things fixed. Now, it's up to ZeniMax to actually implement these solutions, uh, but I, I am surprised that they've never come forth and said this. Another solution that I've always um, discussed with my friends is allowing for a variety of different queue options, meaning if there was, if you were like putting in filters or something like that, like I'm okay with three DPS and one tank, or I'm okay with four DPS, or I'm okay with three DPS and one healer, you know? Um, something like that, I think, would, would ease the queue as well. But who knows? Fake tanks are the worst. They're the line cutters of gaming because their time is obviously more valuable than ours and can be traded at our expense. That's somebody that's had a very bad experience with a fake tank. I think people fail to realize that a good tank or healer makes runs way smoother. Okay, so the reason that tanks make normal dungeon runs smoother is because that they can group up all of the mobs together, you can kill them faster, and it's smoother. I don't think, and I heal, so this is not a jab at healers by any means, but I don't think having a healer makes a big difference in a normal dungeon. Now, if you're in some of the harder DLC dungeons, sure, it definitely can. But if you're a fake, D or if you're a fake healer, with echoing vigor slotted or something similar and you're able to heal your group at least a little bit that helps and that's fine because three dps is going to make the run go a lot smoother as well um the problem is and you'll see the op the the people that fake take and heal all the time you'll see this argument come up and that's a fake dps so a lot of new players come in and they treat it like an Elder Scrolls game, and rightfully so. Especially in the tutorial, they don't even teach you to use your skills. They teach you to light attack and heavy attack. So you have a lot of people coming in. You've got that Khajiit Nightblade that's 40 yards away from the boss um, that's light attacking with a bow, right? And so the dungeon run takes forever. 
And so sometimes having an extra DPS makes a massive difference and it allows you to get through the run smoother, right? Because if you have a tank that's 2000 CP and you have a healer that's 2000 CP and then you've got two brand new DPS players, that run is going to take forever and that's not smooth. So it's, it's one of those things. Um, it's, a, it's a problem of teaching people all their roles locking people into the roles, making it rewarding. It's a multifaceted issue, right? And this is where problems arise, is you see people get enough runs with brand new players that are just light attacking, which is okay. I mean, people are learning the game, but those people will get frustrated. They only have maybe two hours of time in the day, and a fungal grotto one run takes 30 minutes instead of five, right? And so they're like, okay, well, that was a waste of time. And so now they start queuing as a fake healer so that they can go faster. So there's a lot of issues that are kind of culminating into a larger problem, um, which is ultimately souring the experience of new players, which is the biggest issue. If people are complaining that are veteran players, that's one thing. You're still gonna play the game, and you're still gonna do dungeons, whatever. But a new player coming in, never really experiencing dungeons and having somebody sprint ahead die everybody die and it's just a shit run that's a bad experience and it's not a good look for the new player and that's what's most important so let me know what you think what what kind of solutions would you come up with um to make this problem a little bit more um you know to make this problem not exist right let me know thanks for watching guys remember to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one peace